This hill is great for finding snakes under rocks. Alongside this location, I explored four different habitats over the course of one week in the hopes of finding as many cool reptiles and amphibians as possible. The first location I explored was the small creek. Immediately, I saw a couple of pickerel frogs in the water. These frogs can be recognized by the square-like blotches along their back. After taking a look at the frogs, I noticed the movement in the bushes. The cause for this movement was this large northern water snake. These snakes can inflict a painful bite, and because of the anticoagulant in their saliva, their bites can draw a lot of blood. However, these snakes are non-venomous, and their sharp teeth are mainly used to grip onto their slippery prey. After finding the snake, I continued to hike along the creek until I spotted a turtle. I had seen a couple of quick painted turtles darting around in the water, but this turtle was much bigger. I soon came to realize that this turtle was a common snapping turtle. Since these turtles grow really large and have a long neck, snapping turtles can be unpredictable and should only be handled carefully. These turtles remain hidden for most of the year, but can sometimes be seen crossing the road. After watching it for a while, it finally noticed me. Since I was so fixated on the snapping turtle, I didn't notice the green frog sitting next to me. The size of the tympanum was about the same as the eye, so this frog was a female. The males of this species are territorial and will fight other males to defend their territory. The next location I went to look for animals was a biking trail. On the side of the trail, I found this eastern garter snake. The bulk of a garter snake's diet include earthworms, although they also eat frogs and even small birds when the opportunity is provided. In defense, garter snakes will release a stinky musk in hopes of deterring predators. I continued to move along the trail until I ran into this painted turtle. This turtle was in the weeds where I was able to observe it up close. This turtle was most likely a female making her way to make a nest for her eggs. The last snake I found along the trail was this northern ringneck snake. This snake was sitting absolutely still when I found it. This ringneck snake was in danger of getting run over, so I made sure to move it off the road. Outside of the time they spend basking, these snakes spend their life underground, eating mainly invertebrates and salamanders. There were still more reptiles and amphibians I wanted to see, so I went to a pond I visit frequently. Immediately after arriving, I found this northern water snake. This snake was active and may have been hunting or looking for a mate. Near the water snake, I also spotted an eastern garter snake. Oftentimes, while looking at the garter snake, the northern water snake would also swim by. This garter snake may have been looking for a mate too, because late April and early May is normally the time frame for them. Many males sometimes try to mate a single female, forming mating balls. I was able to find a couple more water snakes, including this one that was sitting at the water's edge. I let the snake continue its basking and looked for more animals. I decided to search for reptiles and amphibians in another location. In the past, I had seen racers at this field previously and I knew there was a great diversity of other interesting animals. It didn't take long for me to find a group of rocks where I was able to find my first northern black racer of the year. Unfortunately, this snake didn't seem to be in the best condition and had a bad eye. It is important not to touch snakes with shedding issues like this one. This is because snakes like this could carry a disease such as snake fungal disease and you wouldn't want to transmit or spread it. This racer was still a really cool find, and I continued to look for more reptiles. It didn't take me long to find another black racer. Unfortunately, it managed to hide under a large rock. In case the snake came back out of the rock from the same hole, I set up a camera that would show the snake emerging. Luckily, the racer slowly made its way back out from under the rock.